Now, once upon a night, a midnight, a moon night, the train of dreams pulled into Sleepy Head Station. The little engineer called, All aboard for bed! All aboard! Hugging their bears and their bottles and their favorite blankets, the Sleepy Heads climbed aboard the train of dreams. There was Gemma and Jacob and Granny Garbanzo and Mr. Mustafa with the big mustache. The little engineer blew the whistle and called one last time. All aboard for bed! The dream train had a big job to do. What job? To find for each sleepy head their own special dream. But where? The dream train pulled away on a track of twinkly star beams, up into the night sky, up into the starlight. Three times around the moon and all the way past the evening star and a dream was found, just for Gemma. Down into a night garden, alive with fireflies and bumblebees and tangles of tulips, where a dream was found, just for Jacob. Then the sweet dream train went diving under the ocean, past starfish and seashells and castles of coral, and a dream was found just for Granny Garbanzo. Then up to the top of a mountain of whipped cream when the little engineer heard a great big noise. A noise so big it shook the train almost off its tracks. <sighs> what is that noise? It was Mr. Mustafa. He was snoring so loudly, all the precious dreams got jumbled up. Gemma's dream and Jacob's dream and Granny Garbanzo's dream got all mixed together, like stew. Uh-oh, the sleepy head started tossing and turning and turning and tossing. Oh my, this is a midnight emergency. We better get going fast. The train zoomed behind the moon to find a dream for Gemma then zipped down into the night garden to collect Jacob's dream, and then zapped under the ocean for Granny Garbanzo. Ah, at last, everyone was happy dreaming again. <sighs> when... <sighs> Mr. Mustafa snored again. He snored so loudly, the moon dancers tumbled, and the tulips got tied in a knot, and the starfish turned into sharks. That's it. There's only one thing to do. I will find a dream so perfect that Mr. Mustafa will forget to snore. So the little engineer filled the furnace with shooting stars and leftover lightning bolts and sang out, All aboard for bed! Past the moon, past Mars, past seven chocolate bars. The train flew faster than a firecracker until at last it reached the secret place. The train stopped. Everything was very quiet. Then she saw it. The most wonderful, magical dream in the whole night sky. Yes, the white pony. The pony dreams are made of the toss of his mane and a soft the white pony came to the dream train all aboard for bed and right away Mr. Mustafa stopped his big noisy snores who could snore when you had a white pony with flowers in his mane and the softest nose there ever was Mr. Mustafa dreamt he took all the happy children for moonlit pony rides. Everyone had a ride on the white pony. Even Granny, even you, even me. Then the sleepy head snuggled down to a good night's sleep. All aboard for bed! Sweet Dream Train now boarding on track 40 winks. And the Sweet Dream Train chugged quietly and softly into the midnight sky. The end. And that's the kind of night that Molly and I had. And even though I've been up all night, I'm just beginning my day. And I like to start every new day with a good stretch. <laughs>